Saturday, May 6th. Welcome to a Cedar Point opening day vlog. Today we are checking out everything new in the park. This includes all the new restaurants, dragster construction. Wild Mouse. Wild Mouse, which we did get the credit, so you want to stay tuned for that. We also met a ton of people, so you definitely want to stay tuned for this video. We're here at opening day. We always say don't go to opening day because usually it's always pretty bad because first day of the year, everything's gonna be closed. But here we are. For those of you who watched our media day vlog, you'll know that we were the people on the news who got evacuated off of Wild Mouse. Yep. So we're rope dropping that ride so we actually get the credit. So apparently Wild Mouse is closed and they're having Millennium open for early entry as a replacement. So we got word that Wild Mouse might not be open all day. See, yeah, there was a rumor that it was closed all day yesterday for Ohio State Day and it's still not open. And it may not open all day today. So hopefully that's not true. In the meantime, look at this Millie line. There's no one here. I don't think anyone really knows that it's closed yet. Everyone's running a Wild Mouse still. We just rode Money and Force, one of the slowest. The slowest rides, but it's cold and it was the beginning of the day. It was first ride, no, it wasn't first ride here. First ride at Cedar Point. I think they got new seatbelts. Adventure Island Frontier Town, which we're gonna be passing in a minute. On the ride, you can see almost nothing has changed. It's all the Halloween stuff down there. But it doesn't look like any pads or anything was removed. So probably no updates with that. So even though Forbidden Frontier is closed, the sign isn't removed. Which is weird because usually when you close an attraction, first thing you do is you remove the signage. I did that for Mean Streak. Mean Streak's sign was gone like that night. But it's still there. So something that replaced Wild Turnip this year is Watkins House and Hatchery. So we're gonna go see the menu real quick. I'm not really sure what these are. Maybe we'll have to try it sometime. So Wagon Wheel Pizza is replaced by Engine Company Spirits. You can see what they serve on the right here. And of course, there's the farmhouse. Have you all adult beverages here? There is also another adult beverage place. Oh, it's closed day. But there is another adult Actually, wait, no, Wagon Wheel Pizza is still open. What did this replace then? Oh, wait, this was the custard place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that was my mistake. It's a, it replaced the custard place. Oh, the map is actually updated here. On the website, they still have yet to update the map. You can see the boardwalk with Wild Mouse. Looks cool. So they're actually testing Steel Vengeance before 10 o'clock, which is unheard of. Unheard of, yes. Last year it never happened. Actually, I think we're gonna go there first since it actually might open on time. So the line's not too long. Um, they haven't opened it yet, but it's not too long at all, so we're gonna get in line for Steve.
headed to the lockers and then getting on. We just rode the wildest roller coaster of the world and it's running very fast. It was a delayed an hour, so it's like 11 now when it was supposed to open at 10. Such a good ride. Just to show you why you should never go to Cedar Point on opening day, here's the line for Maverick, which is delayed now by an hour and a half. For the meal plan, you get a main entree, which can be a burger, pizza, wings. You get a side, you get both fries or just onion rings. Looks very good. Toppings for my burger. That first one failed to launch and came back. They've been trying to fix this all morning. They're gonna try again. We're heading up to what everyone has been waiting for, Top Thrill Dragster construction update. Breaking news. New wood on the stairs for mine ride. All right, everyone, here we are. The moment you've been waiting for. Top Thrill Dragster construction update. Looks like the okay, drum. it's the hydraulic drum. Mm, That's, we don't know for sure. Well, it looks very similar to the hydraulic drum. That's what's rolled up in there. So we're gonna keep heading on down. Top hat is still the exact same. There's, not, there's nothing changing. And that's the prediction, nothing changes with this. This is gonna stay the same no matter what, and it's just gonna be new track down there. We're at the crane now, there's a little gap in the fence. Gonna see what we can see in the fence. Can't really tell what's visible. I'm gonna have to rewatch the footage. Can't really tell what's going on in there. Hopefully the video picked up something. I can't really tell. It looked like some sort of crater. A lot of dirt in the station. Alright, so here's a little bit of a better view of the construction site here. Oh. Okay, so. So it's a spike. Something. Well, it's right direct, it's directly behind. The Iron Dragon track is replaced. It's the exact same track. But, obvious footers. I'm assuming track should go up like this and have three supports down from it in the triangle formation, holding up this huge spike. And three supports makes me think that it's not going to be vertical. It won't be like straight vertical, it'll be twisted. There's going to be a spiral down. Update on the Matterhorn and the Scrambler plots, which are now empty. It's just grass, a couple trees, a couple plants. Okay, this is where Matterhorn was, ribboned up. Insane news, Wild Mouse, we actually might be able to ride it. Yeah, purple. purple car is actually testing. That'd be awesome. If I don't care the line, we need this. We need this ride. We need our other we, three we, quarters credit. We, yeah, we need the other three quarters of a credit. Right. 
So the ride is testing, but they are unaware whether it's going to open or not. Here at the brand new Grand Pavilion waiting for Wild Mouse to open. It's been about cycling for an hour. It needs to cycle for at least two hours before it can open. So we're waiting for a little bit longer. It's been about 12, 30, 20, 30 minutes since we last checked in with the vlog. We filmed a new video. It's coming out soon. It's a tour of the whole new area. I love this uh, the boardwalk section. This Grand Pavilion is great. Like, you have to wait till July to really see if this place is really going to continue having traffic. That place is so nice that it's nice in here. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I like Wicked Twist though. I no, love I love it, it too. I love it. I'm sad it's it gone. was really nice because I never had a line to get this past <laughs> off. I'm filming him dancing and I'm going to put it on put it on the channel. <laughs> I think we're finally starting up here. <laughs> Tony, give me a tweet up, boy. Toss it out. <laughs> oh, I see him. What's going on with Top Phillips? Tony, why are you so grumpy today? Our first ride of the season on Wild Mouse. In line for Wild Mouse. Finally getting to ride it. Stop. <laughs> we got the credit. Got the credit. Well, we got it already, but you guys finally got it. It is smooth. It is a fun ride. I really like it. It is a very smooth ride. It's smooth. The restraint did kind of get me at one point in my gut. We only waited about two hours, so. I want to get. It's pretty fun. You ready to get back in line? Huh? Ready to get back in line? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna eat first. <laughs> okay. It's better than Iron Dragon. Better than Iron Dragon, better than Gemini. Better than Mine Ride. However, it, it is not as good as like uh, Magnum or Blue Streak. Actually, it might be better than Blue Streak. This is brand new. This is Bar 1870 it replaced Walking Tacos. Here's so just a drink place, mainly for alcohol. Which is good because you said they needed more bars. They did. Now, so, now they're, they're popping up everywhere, which is good. There's one at the new pavilion. They, they, one here, there's a couple down there. Now. They they had one in the park at uh, Trail Tavern. Oh, yeah. oh, that Trail Tavern, but they always they, had those rolling stations, which you never knew where they were or if they were open. Uh, okay. There are no visual changes, but now Derby Dogs is serving walking tacos. So basically that walking taco stand where the bar is, is now being served down here. Johnny Rockets has disappeared. They so, didn't even announce that at Winter Chill Out to my knowledge. Yeah, I don't recall either, but um, it's a wide open area, so I wonder what, oh, you know what? 
I did see a rumor that they're gonna put a small arcade in here. Something interesting. Max Shack still has all of the branding. You can know you can see all the logos up there. That's a wrap to our Cedar Point opening day vlog. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what you think of Wild Mouse. Have you ridden it or just all the changes in the park? It was really good. I was really impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, honestly. No, it was, it was, it was actually pretty good. Definitely. Good addition. Especially if they're doing this bike next year for the thrill seekers. It's a good addition this year for the family. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.